Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going back in time to Disneyland and California Adventure and give you some food reviews, a roller coaster ride, and there's also going to be a commercial break where I provide you guys some news, some very old news, but it's really informative and important as to why I decided not to continue with having a pass and why I don't think I'll ever get a pass and why things changed the way I felt about Disney and Disneyland and the Disneyland Corporation. So stay tuned for that. If you want to skip it, go ahead. But if you want to learn some news that's not necessarily in the news, um, I would encourage you to hear it and listen. It's really important and informative and it's the reason why I just don't want to support them anymore. So let's get the video started and let's get some happy dandy content. Let's go. So this is what my son got. I got this one because it's new. They said that it was more spicier. They add a little onion. This is something we always eat. <laughs> but this is new. Just because it's more spicier and has onion. It's falling apart. It gotta fell eat apart. It. Gotta eat it fast. Gotta eat it fast. It fell apart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is spicy. Okay. Well, let's see because this thing is falling apart. Look at it. It's falling apart. <laughs> Mine too. This is like the only Mexican thing that I like. So, what a beautiful day this is turning into, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is the sucky part about these things. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut this thing <laughs> and eat it into pieces. Which kind of sucks. I'm gonna eat the whole thing together. This is the thing. Is it spicier? Yeah, a little. Does it taste good? Yes, because it seems like it has chips, corn, and I love chips. It's kind of like when you put chips on your on your sandwich. It reminds me of that. But the sucky part about the whole thing is that it falls apart. So that's, that's my con. Now that I'm done eating the whole thing, it's not spicy herb. I feel like it's a sales tactic. Actually, the one that Wieners Reward is more spicier. Here's the one that's spicy. That's spicier. What's your rating? Uh, a nine. No, we do this. Oh. oh, okay. Mine's like this. Actually, no, mine's this. <laughs> Guess which one's my favorite. This one, it's only $6.49. Honestly, a lot of the desserts here are pretty cheap comparing for their sizes. There goes the horsey. We just noticed there's this new backpack. Show it, why? Oh, it's, so it's see-through. So yeah, you could kind of see. Transparent. Transparent. So, like, Ooh, how much is it? Show me the price. 50 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, I think it's the the blue one is still over there, but this is definitely new. And this I never saw it before. Let me see the, the new new pins. New puppies. Oh, I'm such a dog collector. That's kind of neat if you like Cinderella. Look at this one right here. You got the food and wine festival one here. These are vacation still clubs. the same. Yeah, these are all vacation ones. I've been trying to play Disney Play so we could get this pin. I spy with my little eye. Do y'all see this right here? Do you see this? Chilling. Chilling. He's watching us. Watching me. Watching him. Yes. How about the one in the bottom? Where? <laughs> Where? Right there, there's two. Oh, there is another one. I didn't even see that guy there. He's camouflaged. Look at him. Chilling. So my son wanted to try the pink lemonade. It's $6. I decided not to use my lanyard because if you're going to have a lanyard, it's always better for you to purchase something that's 6 50 and up and this one's actually six dollars so I didn't mind actually paying out of my pocket so you can try it out what do you give it <laughs> you, 
You've tasted a lot of pink lemonades. Let me see. I want to taste it too. It's better, it's better than in and out. <laughs> okay, what about Roadhouse? Yeah, I know you remember. Better. You you think it's better than Roadhouse? <gasps> I love Roadhouse. Okay. Holy but Jesus. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, you have different taste buds. Actually, I like the better. I like the one at Roadhouse, but it's probably because it has a lot more sugar and it's more artificially it has more artificially yeah. like artificial flavors. This one it seems to be more fresh. I usually don't like watered down fruits, fruit like juices. That's just my preference because I'm so used to eating so much sugar. But I feel like I'm eating like a very healthy drink. If you actually drink this. A nice little healthy drink for a kid because it doesn't have a lot of sugar for sure. We're checking out the behind the scenes. We're actually kind of excited. We're such music people that like I'm really excited to actually hear what this band is about. All right, so I got this drink over here. I'm zooming in. So I got the Fura Mountain Brewing Co. I like IPAs. The Lost One Brewing Company one, a little bit more stronger, but it actually sold out. So be mindful, today's a Saturday and it's noon. It's kind of strong. And a lot of people actually try to get the strongest one for more for their bank, for their book, so they don't have to buy more beer. Because I've been coming to Disneyland for a lot of years. And I remember when alcohol mm -hmm. used to be about, <laughs> I think six or $7. Now it's about $11 per beer cup. And when the festival comes around, usually, the beers can run like they could be between you can see the prices like they're between 11 to 13 10 honestly the highest I've ever seen is 13 that is a lot but hey when you go to the clubs how much do they charge you they charge you about 16 what $18 depending on the events or venue mm -hmm. so it's still a little cheaper so this is a band that we're gonna see right now the soul R&B blues pop favorites but I actually want to see her where is she <laughs> So, what do you what do you give it? No, we, we do this. A medium? Okay. He's a pastry man, so that's a big deal. Okay. What do you think, Pops? Oh, medium? Is it better than the other one? So the other one's more better. some breaking news breaking news i discovered this information on a twitter thread which led me to this book where bryce taylor wrote in her experience regarding her mk ultra and what happened at disneyland when she was a child these alleged statements are all alleged by bryce tyler i was able to relocate this book on DuckDuckGo. i will be leaving the link down in the description below the link will allow you to read all of the chapters that she provides and her experiences throughout her whole life regarding MK Ultra experiments. I'm gonna jump to chapter three. We're off to see the wizard so I can read certain paragraphs that really struck a chord, which made me really rethink about going to Disneyland ever in my whole entire life or even supporting the company as a whole. So let's get started. I'm going to start 
reading the Disneyland segment where the little red arrow is pointing. Disneyland. When I was five years old, my mother and father took me to the newly opened Disneyland in Anaheim, California. As we walked down the main street, we ran into Walt Disney and my father stood aside as Walt Disney, larger than life to me, bent down and shook my hand. He told me that if I would write to him, he would write back to me. I didn't consciously remember anything else after that. What happened next though, as I later recalled, was that Walt Disney looked at my father with eyes that said important things that I couldn't understand. My father then led my mother in the other direction and I was left alone with Walt Disney. My parents never said goodbye or anything. They just left me and walked away. I was terrified and confused at realizing that my parents just disappeared. Walt took me to an office, lifted me up on a big desk that had a glass piece on top and told me that he was my real father. He said that Mickey Mouse Club was my real family, where I really belonged. Everyone was telling me I belonged to a different family than my parents and I didn't understand. It was all very confusing. Walt Disney seemed nice, but I wasn't with him very long. He called another man in and the man took me by the hand and led me away. This man was a very bad man. He really scared me. He took me into another room and gave me those Viewmaster boxes glasses to look into. He showed me pictures in them that were so scary that other parts of me had to come to see them. It was too much for a little girl to see. Dead things, cut up bodies, dead cat skin with big eyeballs and their tails cut off, people cut up, etc. We had that toy at home, but mine had cartoon pictures in it. This event involved several of my personalities. Next, the man took me to scary rides and poked me with needles in my waist and legs while he said things during the Alice in Wonderland ride. Like, this is not really happening. I'm not really sticking this needle in your leg. You're just like Alice. You also ate that large mushroom and feel funny this is not real he kept laughing and acting like this was fun and games and really amusing but it was terrifying and confusing to me and i couldn't understand why he was hurting me parts of me split off as they withstood the abuse and i pushed the experiences deep down into my subconscious mind as my programming dictated the man took me to mr toad's wild ride and abused me to, by taking off and pushing while we were going through the dark enclosed ride. During many years that followed, I got hurt on Mr. Toad's ride and I was instructed to be extra and crazy in order to be good and not get hurt. If I did it right and performed on cue, then I didn't get hurt when it was over. When we came out into the light from the darkened ride, it was over and if I did it right, I could stop and go back to my mommy. If I did it wrong, I had to do it all over again until I did it right. They always hurt me real bad if I made a mistake. I tried my best. It seemed like I had to stay at Disneyland for a long time, but at the end of a long day, I got to have a pretty balloon that I looked at as I laid back at the seat of the car all the way home. I was devastated, exhausted, and out of it during the ride back to Woodland Hills, but looked up at my pretty Mickey Mouse ears balloon or the Mickey Mouse balloon within a balloon before I finally fell into a long, deep sleep. So this is where I'm going to stop reading. I do encourage you to press pause and read more of page 59 where she talks about her abused experience that happened in the Matterhorn ride and it's, and it's a small world ride. And on page 60, she also explains in detail as to what happens to her when she gets taken to the Jungle Cruise ride and it's very alarming and scary. And I would really, again, encourage you to read both pages and the next page that I'm going to show you guys because it will talk about her Tinkerbell experience when they forced her to be the Tinkerbell for the night. In page 61 is where she goes into detail as to what her programmers make her do when she has to do that Tinkerbell flight experience. And so I would encourage you to read that. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did skip certain lines and I blurred out certain things on the first pages that I read because it was too explicit and I do not want this video to get brought down just because of that. So if you want to read the full story and I, like I said, read the full chapters in this book, I would encourage you to click the link and read the whole book so you can understand her whole life as to what she endured in the MK Ultra programming. Once again, these are all alleged statements from Bryce Taylor. There is more information out there. A lot of MK Ultra victims are coming forward and actually suing the government for enduring these type of experiments and alleged 
you know, MK Ultra programming. So I would encourage you to, to look it up. There's more information now and you don't really hear it in the news. And this is the reason why I kind of was left heartbroken when I first found out about this in 2020 around March and April and that's when I decided that I no longer wanted to support Disney and I don't know if this is going to change people's minds or not but I think it's important that we know about this so that we're not left uninformed and I just think it's important that we realize where we are investing our money towards too and that was the biggest thing for me I just no longer wanted to invest my time and money and I'm just grateful that I have memories that were happy during that time where I didn't know anything and that's what I'm doing now as to why I'm showing these type of content it's just kind of like a video where I get to share certain memories of when I didn't know about this information and I really appreciated the positive memories I had there and I guess that's what people say. Ignorance is a bliss because back in the day, I didn't know any of that stuff. And I was just like, ha, la, 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 la. But now I know and I'm making smarter decisions. So back to our regular programming and I'll talk to everybody later. <laughs>
Okay, so we're finally going to Disneyland. My son's been anticipating for the droid. Anticipating for the droid. Wow. Okay, Pops, you show me where it's at because I don't know where the heck is at. Ready? Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that full. It's kind of empty. It's empty. Super empty, which is good. Thank you. Ooh, you get too big. This is exciting. It is exciting. It is hard. It's hard to pick. That's the hardest part, picking a head. Yes. No, I don't envy you. They're full of heads. Oh, yeah. Red. Yeah. Orange is such a great color. It is. It's just tough to decide the round, translucent one or yeah. True. That, that, that's all of it? It's good that there's like nobody here. It's like empty. I should probably put the head first. That's a sick ass color. How do you put this on? Oh, you gotta align it, remember? Oh, yeah. You gotta align it. What is that thing for? Thank you. I got this one now. Thank you. There you go. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's it. I'm going to press. All right. So I'm going to make sure everything's on there properly. Are you ready to activate it? Look, he's moving his head. Oh, it's cute. You're bringing it back to life. You're bringing it to life. It's alive. It's alive. Does it have a name? Squishy. Squishy. I love it. Okay. We're going to make sure that Squishy's working properly with this remote, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay? We're going to move the legs back. 
pack the feet forward and wrist back as well. Okay? Now the functions on the remote are pretty straightforward. You have forward, backwards, side to side. These, uh, this one right here is for the lights and sound. And this one is going to be for the head. Now this one isn't going to do anything for right now. Okay? This is for Adam's like glasses or jet glasses. Yeah, see? Yeah. Alright, there you go. I'll let you two get acquainted. Give me to go around. Let me try. <laughs> He's willing now. He's willing now. There you go, buddy. So we do Willie. Oh, it makes noise. I'm gonna get a personality trip, definitely. Today? Yeah. I like it a lot. Thank you. What kind of personality do you want? Oh, you get to pick a personality. I feel, I feel so, so corporate. Hold up, I'm trying to use them. You get to hear them. I guess it's just a sound that you're looking for, right? Yeah. I like this sound. It's really. Okay, the orange one is this one. So you got that one? The orange one? Want that one? Okay, let's go. What are they? These are like accessories for your droid, right? You get a little backpack if you want to carry your droid around the park. Look at how beautiful it looks. <laughs> Keep going. There's this new bag for your pins. You can use this pouch. You could do this. Show them how it looks on your shoulder because some people are not gonna like that. I don't like it. He says he won't like it, but some people don't mind the over the shoulder. Let's see. Show it. I don't know. He's not doing it right, but I, I understand what he means. If you don't like things over your neck and shoulder, it's gonna bug you. Yeah, like side things. Kind of like well, similar to what you're doing right now. And they have this new big one for people who have the um, Jack Skeleton one. It's not here anymore. I don't know if they're selling it anywhere else, but this is new. I told my son that he needs to upgrade. I think they're making people to upgrade for the ones I keep collecting because he over he over he already he already overstepped the. How much? I already filled up my old one. I know you already filled up your old one. Those jolly kids. This is fifty bucks. This one is fifty bucks too. Wow, same price. Fifty. And then this one's 20. 20 or 50. Oh. Mac and cheese peeps. I got mac and cheese for my son and me because we love mac and cheese. Food, food and Wine Festival 2020. So we're going to see how this tastes like. I really don't know the ingredients. I'm going to put it all up there on the screen so you guys can know. And I'm going to take a first taste before my son gets here because I got to go to the restroom. I know, TMI. But I got to taste it before he does because I know he's going to want ham on it. Let's see. First, let's give a little shout out for this fork, this fancy fork. Look, so the Food and Wine Festival, they actually have fancy forks. He loves mac and cheese, so let me know. Thumbs up, middle or down? Is it spicy mac and cheese? I don't know. It's just the mac and cheese for 
I don't remember the ingredients. You give it a thumbs up? Yeah? Now I want to try it. Okay, so right now, we have a little bit of a blue light. It's light. I mean, excuse me, it's really bad lighting. But let's see. Oh my gosh. I Now I know why you like this. It's really cheesy. Isn't it good? It's really cheesy. Nine out of ten. I mean, you're something. I don't know. I'm like good and medium. <laughs> no, it's blinking. It's going up and down. Yeah, it's like the down. You know why? Because I don't like the texture. If you like like creamy, you're gonna like this. I like creamy. If you like cheesy, then you're not gonna like this. But if you like creamy, you're gonna like this. And the crunch makes it so much better. The crunch makes it taste way better. Yeah. Huh? How this is good. Does it does it fit the picture, you guys? <laughs> it's a little small. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I got the shrimp fried tacos, and supposedly they're made out of like this, like I don't know, it's not maize and it's not harina, so it's a little bit different than what we're used to eating, especially us Latinos. Oh, there's two. It's so really thin. What you do. This is like I'm eating a cocktail. It's so cold. I've never ate something like this before in my life. I will say this is not your regular shrimp taco. It is spicy. Honestly, I'll be real with you. This reminds me. Kind of reminds me of celery. I feel like I'm eating rice paper. Honestly, I would recommend this for people who want to try different, something different and you like different types of textures. It's fishing. I kind of had high expectations on this, but but the shrimp is very tasty. And you can tell that the shrimp is very seasoned too. I can taste it. If I take it to pick something, the shrimp is good, the taco sucks, and then all together it's like... That's my review.